Well, let's take a walk through the code in this LabVIEW project. We'll begin with the sub-VI called Check Internet Access. The main idea is to use the TCP open connection function. We open a connection or attempt to open a connection to the Microsoft service listed here and then immediately close the connection. If there is no error message in the cluster at this point, that means success. And we can in invert the sense of the error status and then use that to indicate that the internet connection is okay. If there is an error, especially error number 54, which is generated by TCP open connection, that error is cleared, but any other errors would be passed out of the sub-VI. The timeout can be used to adjust how long one waits for a connection to be established. The case structure looks at the incoming error cluster, and if there's no error, it runs the code. Otherwise, the code is bypassed, and the internet OK indicator is set to false. Note that this same code runs on both the RT and the PC. All right, we'll take a quick look at where you can find the functions used in this sub-VI. Look under Data Communication, Protocols, TCP, and there you find TCP Open Connection and TCP Close Connection. Now let's review where this sub-VI is used in RT main. RT main has two process loops, and in this lower process loop, it runs once every five seconds, and that's the one that displays the internet status, and the top loop runs once every half a second. Finally, let's wrap up by looking at how you can stop both of the parallel processing loops in RT main. The stop control is pulled by the first process loop, and then a local variable communicates its state to the second process loop. The false constant is fed out at the very last to reset the stop button. Local variable can be found here, and you can select any of the front panel controls or indicators. You can change between read and write mode as well.